Hey everyone, so we all come across this issue. We buy a computer a few you know, years and years ago. We have a computer that's really, really old. It comes to trying to upgrade it and you realize that computers these days can be quite expensive and it's a bit of a minefield out there as to which one to choose. So one of the other options that you can do is actually upgrade your computer internally. So actually just swap out some of the components that are inside and try and make it speed up uh, and do something that way. So there are a couple of things you can do, major things. You can maybe put in a video card so it has its own RAM. Uh, you know, you put in a couple of extra gigabytes of RAM there through a video card. They, that way the computer can actually use a video card for processing power of the things you're seeing rather than the motherboard or something that's on board. You could buy yourself some additional RAM, so you just have to make sure that your slots on your motherboard fit, which you'll see shortly. Uh, that's probably the cheapest way actually of upgrading your computers to do the RAM side. The other thing you can do is to upgrade your hard drive. Now, this is a solid state hard drive. Now, up until a while ago, these were very, very expensive on the market. You know, they were looking at you know a couple of hundred pounds to pick up a solid state hard drive. I managed to pick this one up in the sale because they've actually come down in price now. So this is, I think this cost me about 106 pounds from Amazon. I got it through Amazon Prime, so obviously it came next day delivery. But I have already opened it because I had to make sure that it actually worked so that I could send it back. It's been a while since I've been able to do this video. So let's open this up and you can see what's actually inside the box. Now, the first thing you'll notice, I don't know if you've ever seen this at a computer, is how big a normal hard drive actually is. It's quite chunky and it's quite heavy. That's it. I mean, this is this is crazy, like science fiction nonsense, you know, like, look how big that is for the hard drive. You'll see, because I'll show you actually installing this as well. So inside you get this. Now, annoyingly, with the solid state hard drives, you don't get any cables with them. The idea being is that the hard drive is already in your computer has got the cables it needs. The issue comes there is, is if you want to use your actual hard drive you've got at the minute as a slave drive. Say slave drive, it's like a storage device. Uh, for me, what I'm actually doing is I, I'll be backing up onto this drive, and then I won't be removing the operating system from the last drive, just in case anything does happen to this but I'll also be using it as a backup storage device, you know, things like pictures and videos and things like that. So to do that, you're gonna need a new cable that will actually hook up um, this to your motherboard. The power cable, most power cables still have uh, the additional slots on. I think it's power cable, it's either power cable or the data transfer cable, one of two. One of them has two prongs on it, so you can have two hard drives in it at once. Uh, this also comes with uh, some booklets, just some caution booklets about the hard drive. Uh, but this is the important thing, this CD. So you're probably thinking, you know, how the hell does this work? So what you need to do is you'll need to get some type of docking device so that you can actually transfer operating system from your current hard drive to this hard drive. I don't know if these are sold as a concept that you can just use them as a storage device rather than actually putting them off it, but what I've read is this will drastically speed up my computer. Now, we'll be running a test at the end of this video side by side of my current hard drive and this hard drive, the solid state hard drive. Uh, so to see how fast it boots up, and then when it's booted up, as soon as I can, to open up Google Chrome and my video editing software, Adobe Premiere, and how quickly I can actually use those two websites. So that's the challenge that I've got set up for this, to see if there is actually a speed difference in the processing power with a solid state drive. Now I keep saying solid state, and probably what's a solid state drive? This has no moving parts in it whatsoever. We've all had solid state drives in the past, maybe never even realized, in the shape of a memory stick. It's just, you know, it's a physical thing, there's nothing moving inside that. Whereas a normal hard drive, as you can see, it's normally two discs, maybe three discs, uh, set on top of each other with an optic reader that runs across them like this. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find a video for you if I can, I'll put it in here, but otherwise. So it runs across the disc, so there are moving parts in there. Moving parts cause issues over years, they're gonna degrade, if you drop them, they're gonna break, and things like that. With this, I mean, I'm not gonna drop this on the floor, just seeing, you know, I'm not gonna risk trying to break it or anything, I'll put it through anything extreme, it costs a lot of money and I need it to run my computer. But the idea being is, is that you know they can use these anywhere. I do believe solid state drives are using things like the space station because there's no parts in there, so there's nothing that can actually get destroyed or anything like that. 
So what we'll do is we'll open up the computer, you can see where this bad boy goes, and then we'll do the test and see which one's the best. So here we are, here's my computer. It's very old, I think it's good getting on for about six or seven years old now, which is why I've actually come to do the upgrade. So we've got our normal, well, our solid state hard drive here. Again, so before you even consider taking your computer apart, you need to make sure that you've backed up everything that's on your hard drive as it is. So either that's gonna be because you're gonna use, even if you're gonna use this as storage, still make sure that you do a backup of your hard drive. Uh, the best version that you can do for backup is an image copy. So an image copy allows it to actually restore a hard drive back to a point where it was running functionally and functionally normally because obviously we're going to be taking this apart there's a chance that you know you could cause damage to your hard drive so again make sure you've backed up what you've got first before you actually consider doing this so i've gone ahead and i've backed up and i've cloned my hard drive onto this i've done a windows backup a windows, uh, an image backup of my hard drive, and I've done that onto an external hard drive, another one that I've got. You can do an image backup onto anything, you can do it onto a DVD disc, a memory stick if it's big enough, or anything like that. So I've just done it onto a, a bog standard USB external hard drive that I've got. Uh, so I've got my hard drive here, so I now need to actually just switch these two over, cross my fingers, and hope the computer turns on. So, as I said, you can do video cards to upgrade, you can do RAM, or you can do hard drive. So your video card is going to sit in this port here. Your RAM is going to sit in these parts here where those blue lines are. So I see my hard drive, my motherboard rather can actually hold four sticks of RAM, but I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. Because this is all electrical, magic trick before you actually go put your hands in there, if you've got a static band, which is one of those things you would wear around your wrist, that's fine. Otherwise, just rub your hands together. And what this does is it creates a small amount of static charge your body and then you need to touch the metal part of your tower case not the front but the metal part so both hands on it uh, what that's done now is it's gone my charge has gone through into this case so now I can touch things inside without the fear that I'm going to short them out or anything so this is my solid state hard drive this beast here is my current hard drive so just to point out this is a 500 gigabyte solid state hard drive this is a 320 gigabyte hard drive. Now, I'm not actually going to be taking this out. So, what we need is this cable. So, this colored cable is the power cable. And this cable here is the data transfer cable. So, as I was saying, you need another cable if you want to use two hard drives at once. It's the data transfer cable that you need. I don't know how much they cost. It might be cheaper to maybe just look at a really, really old computer to get one. Uh, so to put this in, because it's solid state, you know, I don't have to worry about it being held in a position. Now you can buy trays for these. Uh, as you can see, there are these screw holes around here. And what you can do is you can actually buy trays that they sit in. My hard drive here is actually sat inside a tray that's pinned to this. I'm not actually that bothered about doing that. So, so we've got the solid state hard drive. So, just a case of matching up. Ah, oh, so annoying. The uh, the cables, it's not back to front. It's just, it is, it's back to front. So, that is now connected. Is it going to reach? It's not going to reach, is it? <laughs> I was hoping it was going to reach into that, but that Cable, the transfer cable isn't long enough so let's just see you know what I'm just gonna sit it in there like that it's not like my computer is gonna be moving anywhere crazily like that so yeah I'll just leave it there that'll be fine so my old hard drive is completely unplugged now so that's just sat there doing nothing I'll eventually be getting a pin there so that I can create it as a slave drive and then all I will do is plug in another power port into this bit and I have another data transfer cable so what I can do is once I've got that slave point I can actually uh, put it in. Um, I can't take this hard drive out but it weighs, I'm going to say it's going to weigh upwards of about a kilogram in comparison to the solid state hard drive which weighs less than 400 grams. 
can't wait any more than that. I can't believe it can. So, speed test then. Let's get this case back on, hook it back up, and fingers crossed, it wins. I don't actually know which is the winner yet because I haven't put these videos side by side. But it looks like the Solid State Hard Drive just thrashed the ass off the old school uh, normal disk drive. That was like twice the speed. I've never seen anything like that when it comes, I mean, you know, by a brand new computer yeah, you'd see something like that. But that was easily, I mean, like I said, I don't know who's won yet. My money's gonna go on this guy. It looked like it was literally like within a minute and 20 seconds, it was done, ready to go. Well, normally on my other hard drive, if I'd come to edit a video, I'd literally be waiting about 15 minutes for it every minute just to get loaded and to load something into it. Well, that was probably one of the best upgrades I've ever purchased. Again, it's the, I bought the Samsung hard drive, it's this one, the VNAND SSD 850 EVO. You can buy a Pro as well, and I think the Pro and EVO it's just got something to do with the level of warranty, I think. I think the Pro one has like a full lifetime warranty and the Evo only have like a 10 year warranty or something ridiculous like that. But, you know, it's a solid state hard drive, so really, do you need that warranty there? You know, unless you're gonna go and full on throw it off a bridge or put it under a train or something like that. I'll have the link on here now so you can actually see how much it costs. Uh, when I got it, like I said, I think it was like a hundred and something pound. I got it in a sale, I think it was like, 35% off or something like that when I got it. But even still, it's still an affordable level of item that you can put into your computer to speed it up instead of, you know, trying to go out there and buy a brand new computer with the crazy mumbo jumbo, you know, that you have to go through to actually get a new computer these days. 
again, can't believe how light and how small it was. I mean, it fits in here. I haven't got it down because it's in the computer at the minute. It's just crazy. It's like, you know, 100 pounds and I'd probably just put another five, 10 years of life into that computer until I actually have to go and finally get a new one. In five years time, they'll probably be the size of my finger. Who knows? So again, before you actually go and do anything like this, make sure that you have backed up your current hard drive so that you don't lose any files. If you are gonna use this hard drive as a new one, as your operating system based hard drive, make sure that you create a copy of your old hard drive in case anything goes wrong. The I'll put a link up for the actual platform loading station that I used to clone the current hard drive now. You can buy, uh, a, I've seen older versions of it, USB ones where you can actually plug an external hard drive into a USB port and then you just plug it into power. I think it's exactly the same thing, it's just designed around those new uh, pin sections that you get on hard drives these days. I mean, back when I first started looking at computers, it was those massive chunky clips that looked like printer ribbons that you'd actually put into your back of your hard drive and you like, <laughs> don't bend the clips. So yeah, probably one of the best purchases I've made. I, I can't believe how fast that actually set up and started running. That was phenomenal. Truly, truly phenomenal. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, there'll be a link to buy this hard drive if you want it in the description. If you're interested on the computers as well, I'll try and piece together what actually my computer is. It was a Dell computer. They already come pre-made, so there's not much you can do with them. I've got some Fury RAM in there because that was on sale when I first thought I'd do it. Uh, the reason I actually went to try and do a hard drive instead of the RAM is because I exchanged from 4 gigabytes RAM up to the 16 gigabytes RAM, the Fury RAM. It didn't make much difference in the speed, which is why I went for the next level, which is the hard drive. Again, that's the level that you probably want to see about upgrading the computer. Do your RAM first, then do your hard drive, and then look at a graphics card, because that's kind of like the price range that you'd go through. So cheapest would be the RAM, and the most expensive would be the graphics card. So, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.